Hello. Hi. So if you have ever played video games or you've played chess and you've wondered how the ranking system works, the ELO system, you should watch this video. Or if you've seen the social network and wondered what the hell he wrote on his dorm window, you should also watch this video. Because today we're talking about the ELO system, mainly in chess, but it also applies to video games and a bunch of other rating systems. Um, so what is the ELO system? Well, two players are assigned a value based on like how good they are, right? So in chess, a grandmaster would have an ELO of like 2,500, right? And then an intermediate player would have an ELO rating of like 1,100. And how the ELO system works is if there's a super huge disparity in between the levels of the two players, then there's going to be a lot higher like ELO jumps after a match, right? So if the 2500 GM lost against the 1100 player, both of their ratings would change very drastically. However, if the 1100 was playing like a 1400, their ELO uh, change would be affected a lot less. Okay, so let's get into an actual example. Let's say two people are playing chess, right? Uh, person A and person B. So let's say A, um, let's say A has a rating, so RA equals, uh, let's say they're a thousand. Okay, and let's say RB, the rating of person B is 1400, right? So person B is better by a pretty decent margin. So like right off the bat, if two people were playing, we'd assume player B would win, right? They're, they're a much more favorite to win, but player A could potentially win the match. So how do we, um, how do we figure out how to change their ELO after a match? Well, the formulation for it is first you figure out the expected outcome. So we can determine a probability that each player wins and the common formula is this. So the expected outcome for player A um, is um, one over one plus 10 to the power of RB minus RA divided by 400. Okay, now you might be able to see that I chose these numbers for a specific reason. But anyway, so one over one plus 10 to the power of RB minus RA over 400. So we can see right here that the rating disparity is taken into account for this formula. So if the rating disparity is super huge, then this is gonna be a, um, this is gonna be a much larger number. And so this probability is gonna be a lot lower, the probability that the lower person wins. So Let's actually plug in our values here. So this is gonna be one over one plus 10 to the power of 1400 minus 1000 divided by 400, which is one. So this makes our life really easy. And we just get one over 11, which is 0.09. Okay, there we go. So the probability that person A actually wins this game is 9%. Um, and we could do the same formulation for player B which is one over one plus 10 to the power of RA minus RB over 400. But this is also just equal to um, one minus EA, which is gonna be 91%, so 0.91. Okay, so great. So person B is a 91% favorite to win this match. So here's our expected outcomes. What do we do with this? Okay, so EA, 0.09 and EB is 0.91. Okay, well, we need to update each person's ratings. So how do we update that? Well, there's another formula. Um, so we'll call this RA prime. So if we're updating this person's rating, it's gonna be their original rating plus some K factor. So this is like an arbitrary constant that I'll talk about later, but it's gonna be some K factor times um, the actual outcome of the game, we'll call it S, or we can call it alpha. It can be fancy. Alpha minus um, the expected. Okay, interesting. Okay, here we go. So, so what is EA? Well, EA is 0.09, and what is alpha? Alpha is the actual outcome of the match. So alpha, is going to be zero if, um, or this should be alpha A, or 
Yeah, sure. So it's gonna be zero if A loses. It's gonna be 0 0.5 if A ties with B. And it's going to be one if A wins. Okay, so let's make it interesting and let's say that person A wins. So the person with a thousand rating beats the player with a 1400 rating. So we're gonna update the original rating, 1400 plus K times player A wins, so alpha A is one, one minus 0 0.09. Okay, so it's gonna be plus K times 0.91. Okay. So as you can see, this heavily depends on K. Uh, a typical K value is like 24, but that will, um, that will converge to the actual ELO a lot slower. So you typically use a, um, if, if people, let's say A and B have played a lot of games together, well then their K factor would be a lot lower because their ratings are kind of already established and they don't need to converge super quickly to like their actual, actual ELO. It, it's kind of like in like Valorant or any other competitive shooter, there's like hidden MMR and then actual MMR. So yeah, um, so a typical K is like 24, but you could use like 64 if you want faster convergence to your actual ELO. Um, but here if our K, let's make it really easy for ourselves, let's pick a K of, of we can do 20, 20. Um, so if K is 20, this is gonna be 1400 uh, plus like 18. So person A's rating is gonna be updated to 14, 18. Okay, um, and then it's the same for person, person B's rating. We just apply the same formula. Keep alpha the same, and we can actually do it. So R B prime equals R B plus K alpha B minus. Okay, so E B is 0.91 and alpha B is zero because B lost this match. So this person's new rating is going to be 1400 plus, and then we chose a K of 20, so it's gonna be 20 times. Um, alpha B, what did we make? Uh, alpha B is zero. So this is gonna be zero minus EB. The expected outcome is person B wins 91% of the time, so this is gonna be minus 0.91. Um, and so this person's rating is going to drop 18 points. Uh, 13, wait, how many points? 18. Wait, no, I fucked that up. 82, 13, 82. So that is going to be the updated rating for both the players. Um, so player A gained 18 and player B lost 18. However, if the disparity is a lot higher, so say player B was rated like 2000, this number right here is going to be substantially larger and both of their ratings are uh, like exponentially gonna get adjusted. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed and follow me for more math.